Hi kids! Today we will learn more about mechanical advantage and how to find mechanical advantage in the case of a lever. So let's start! Kids, mechanical advantage is the measurement of how much a simple machine multiplies a force. The bigger the mechanical advantage, the lesser force you need. Let's learn it with examples. We know lever has an effort arm and a load arm. And the bigger the effort arm, the bigger the mechanical advantage. We can also calculate the mechanical advantage. And that is by dividing the length of effort arm by length of the load arm. Let's learn it with examples. This is the load arm of this lever, that is, distance from the load to the fulcrum. And this is effort arm, that is, distance from effort to fulcrum. Length of the effort arm is 40 centimeters, and length of the load arm is 10 centimeters. And 40 divided by 10, we get 4. So, mechanical advantage of this lever is 4. That is, it will multiply the applied force by 4. If you apply 10 kg force, it will make it 40 kg force. In other words, in order to lift a weight of 40 kg, you need to apply a force of 10 kg. Here is another example. The length of the effort side is 60 centimeters here, and the length of the load side is 20 centimeters. Now, how can we find the mechanical advantage here? And the mechanical advantage is length of effort arm divided by the length of load arm. So it will be 60 divided by 20. That is 3. So the mechanical advantage in this case is 3. Now let's take another example. Here, the length of the effort side is 9 meters and the length of the load side is 3 meters. So mechanical advantage will be 9 divided by 3. That is 3. Let's find it the other way. In case of this lever, here we are given that the mechanical advantage of this lever is 3. And we have to find out how much force in kg is required to lift a weight of 12 kg. We know the mechanical advantage of a lever is the length of effort arm divided by the length of the load arm. And also, mechanical advantage multiplied by the force applied in kgs equals the weight lifted up in kgs. So here, 3 multiplied by force applied in kgs equals 12 kgs. So force applied in kgs is 12 divided by 3. That is 4. So we need 4 kg force to be applied to lift a weight of 12 kg here. Here are some more examples. Here, the effort arm is smaller than the load arm, so it's difficult to lift the load. Let's calculate its MA. Its effort arm is 10 centimeters and the load arm is 50 centimeters, so mechanical advantage is 1 by 5. That is, it will multiply the force applied 1 by 5. If the 50 kg force will be applied, 50 multiplied by 1 by 5 is 10 kg. So only 10 kg force will be forwarded. That is, it will even reduce the effort applied. Remember, the effort arm should be longer for getting work done more easily. Here we have a scissor. In figure A, the length of effort arm is 20 centimeters and load arm is also of 20 centimeters. So, mechanical advantage is 1. In figure B, length of effort arm is 20 and load arm is 
five centimeters. So mechanical advantage will be 20 divided by five equals to four. And the higher the mechanical advantage, the lesser the force required. So if you place the cardboard nearer to the fulcrum, the more easily it will be cut. Another example is of pliers. Here, the effort arm is 20 centimeters, whereas the load arm is much, much smaller, which is two centimeters. So MA, or mechanical advantage, will be 20 divided by two, that is 10. So MA is 10, which is quite big. That is applied force will be multiplied by 10. And this is the reason pliers are able to do tough jobs. Here is another example. This is a class two lever. Here, the effort arm is much bigger. Effort arm is 30 centimeters. And then the load arm, 10 centimeters. Mechanical advantage is three. And here is a class three lever where effort is in the center. Effort arm is always much smaller than the load arm. And mechanical advantage is always less than one. Less than one means it does not multiply the effort applied, but must be giving some other advantage. We will learn about it in higher grades. Here we have a tweezer. Here, effort five centimeters and load arm is 10 centimeters. Mechanical advantage is five by 10, that which equals to 0.5. That is even less than one. So third class levers do not give mechanical advantage. Examples of third class levers include a fork, a stapler, and a tweezer. So kids, today we learn a lot about the mechanical advantage of various types of levers. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.